Iconic American songbook crooner Tony Bennett passes away at 96. With a career spanning over 70 years, he not only showcased longevity, but also unwavering consistency. His devotion to preserving the classic American song was evident in numerous concerts, club performances, and over 150 recordings, paying homage to legends like Cole Porter and Duke Ellington. From his initial tribes in the 1950s to his later collaborations with artists like Lady Gaga, Bennett remained a passionate advocate for enduring songwriting and timeless entertainment, defying fleeting trends. Sidney O'Connor, the celebrated singer from Dutland, has passed away at the age of 56. In a heartfelt statement, her family expressed their deep sorrow and requested privacy during this challenging period. With a remarkable musical career, O'Connor released 10 studio albums and achieved immense recognition for her rendition of Nothing Compares to You. Originally penned by Prince, the song's music video, directed by John Mayberry, featured an iconic close-up of O'Connor's face, becoming as iconic as the track itself. Renowned artist Jane Birkin, celebrated for her roles as a singer-actress and the muse behind the iconic Hermes Bad, has passed away at 76 years old. The news was confirmed by the French Ministry of Culture in a tweet hailing her as an everlasting symbol of French culture. While her cause of death remains undisclosed, Birkin battled health setbacks in recent times, including a stroke in 2021 and a fractured shoulder earlier this year, which curtailed her public engagements. Born in London in 1946 to Judy Campbell and dated Birkin, she established her stardom in France after her move to Paris for the film's slogan at the age of 20, where she found both fame and love alongside the movie's lead, French artist Sir Gainsbourg. Lilia Goldoni, renowned for her role in John Cassavid's groundbreaking movie Shadows, has passed away at 86. The Italian-American actress achieved an iconic status for her portrayal of a woman navigating racial identity in the 1959 film. The rap reported her demise shared by her manager G.D. Sobel at the actor's fun home in Englewood, New Jersey. Goldoni's involvement in Shadows began through Cassavid's acting workshop, propelling her into the world of acting. Her character's pivotal role in the improvised audition sketch transformed into the film's central figure, depicting a tale of racial identity complexities. Randy Meisner, an original bassist and founding member of the Eagles, has passed away at the age of 77. His ethereal tenor voice enriched hits such as Take It to the Limit, contributing to the band's rise from the early club scene to the pinnacle of 1970s rock. Meisner's demise, due to complications of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, was confirmed by the band on their website. Despite the band's dynamic, Meisner's unassuming nature stood out amidst the egos as he shied away from the limelight, leaving an indelible mark on the Eagles' early success. Cedar Roberts, who played a pivotal role in leading USC to triumph over Texas in a 1956 segregated Texas game, has passed away at 87. The legendary fullback's exceptional performance, amassing a record-setting 251 yards on 12 carries, contributed to USC's 44-20 victory in Austin. Roberts' achievement stood as a rushing record for two decades. Facing the backdrop of segregation, Roberts and his black teammates encountered challenges including finding lodging that would accommodate them. Roberts passed away from natural causes in Norwalk, as confirmed by the university. Andrea Evans, acclaimed for her roles in One Life to Live and The Young and the Restless, has passed away at 66. In 1988, she received an Outstanding Ingenue Daytime ML Award nomination for her part in One Life to Live. Despite her success, she departed from the show during the 1990s due to a stalker's impact on her life. Her husband, Stephen Rodriguez, released a statement following her demise. Evans, known for her portrayals of Patty Williams, Tina Lord, and Rebecca Hotchkiss, succumbed to breast cancer at her Pasadena, California residence on Sunday, 9 July. Vince Hill, a luminary within the realm of English traditional pop music, has peacefully left this world at the age of 89, leaving behind a legacy that resonates through the corridors of music history. His rendition of the timeless Rodgers and Hammerstein masterpiece, Edelweiss, 1967, not only captured hearts, but also ascended to an impressive no. Two position on the esteemed UK singles chart, where it remains steadfast for a remarkable 17 weeks. This feat is a testament to his unparalleled artistry and his ability to forge an emotional connection with listeners across generations. Hiddle's artistic journey was one of richness and diversity, encompassing not only his celebrated vocal talents, but also extending into a realm of creativity that spanned 25 studio albums. With each album, he painted musical portraits that traverse landscapes of emotion, from joy to introspection. His contributions weren't limited to the recording studio. He lent his talents to numerous soundtracks, 
creating musical tapestries that enrich both the small and big screens. Beyond the realms of music, Hill's effable presence graced the television world. As a host on shows like They Sold a Million, Musical Time Machine, and Gas Street, he brought his magnetic charisma to the screens of countless homes, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. Chris Garland, the former football star who graced both Chelsea and Bristol City, has passed away at 74. After a notable five-year spell at Ashton Gate, he joined Chelsea in 1971 for a substantial £100,000 fee. Bartering 114 appearances, he left an indelible mark on the Blues, lauded as a selfless and dynamic attacker. In response to his demise, Chelsea extended heartfelt condolences to Garland's family and friends. Likewise, Bristol City also commemorated his memory with a tribute. Sister Patricia T. Holland, a remarkable beacon of devotion, service, and unwavering faith, has peacefully transitioned at the age of 81. Her legacy shines even more brightly due to her profound connection to Elder Jeffrey R. Holland, a distinguished member of the esteemed Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. Patricia's life was an intricate tapestry of profound commitment and steadfast testimony, woven with threads of compassion, faith, and love. A distinguished presence within the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Sister Holland's impact resonated across the spectrum of her service. Her tenure as a former general officer within the church testified to her commitment to uplifting others through her faith and service. Her journey alongside Elder Jeffrey R. Holland was more than a partnership. It was a shared mission to spread compassion, positivity, and unwavering faith throughout the world. As she transitions to a new phase of existence, Sister Patricia T. Holland leaves behind a legacy that transcends generations. In addition to her profound contributions to the church and its global outreach, her family remains a testament to her legacy of love. Her cherished presence lives on through her three children, 13 grandchildren, and five great-grandchildren. Each life touched by her light, whether through her devotion to faith, her nurturing role as a mother, or her inspirational impact on those around her, carries forward the essence of Sister Patricia T. Holland's enduring legacy. Renowned director Robert Lieberman, known for his cinematic masterpieces such as Fire in the Sky, 1993, and D3, The Mighty Ducks, 1996, has left behind an undeniable legacy as he departs from this world at the age of 75. His unwavering dedication to his artistry earned him the distinguished title of one of the great believers, a testament to his profound commitment to storytelling. The curtain fell on his life's journey on July 1 in Los Angeles, where he valiantly battled cancer until the end. A trailblazer in the realms of film and television, Lieberman's impact resonates far beyond the screen, leaving an indelible mark that will be cherished for generations to come. His creative contributions are only part of the story. Lieberman's personal journey was enriched by the love and support of his cherished family. His devotion to his sons, Nick and Joseph, from his marriage to Marilu Henner, speaks of a deep paternal connection. His union with Victoria Peters, his third wife, reflected a bond that transcended the screen. Alongside his other children, he fostered a legacy of love and creativity that will forever remain intertwined with his illustrious career. As we bid farewell to this cinematic luminary, we remember not only the brilliance of his work, but also the resilience and inspiration he instilled in all who had the privilege of knowing his creations. Robert Lieberman's story is one of passion, dedication, and unwavering belief in the power of storytelling to touch hearts and leave an enduring impact on the world of entertainment. Bill Jetty, a prominent figure in the world of television, known for co-creating The View, has sadly passed away at the age of 68 with a cause attributed to coronary-related factors. The depth of Getty's influence is showcased through his enduring partnership with the legendary Barbara Walters. Over the course of several decades, he skillfully held roles as an executive producer, writer, and director for a plethora of her significant projects, including the renowned Barbara Walters specials and the captivating The Ten Most Fascinating People. Among his many achievements, Getty's legacy shines particularly bright due to his remarkable 17-year stewardship as the executive producer of The View. This innovative daytime show etched its mark in television history by offering a groundbreaking platform where women of diverse generations could openly engage in discussions about pressing current affairs. Getty's contributions have indelibly shaped the landscape of television and left an enduring impact that resonates beyond his years.